I know what it's like and how to handle defeat and come back. Great sport, but you... I know what I'm up against here. I know mentally what I've had to go through to get to, to this confident state of mind. And physically and mentally, I'm prepared to roll. I prepare the same way. So I haven't changed anything. Physically and mentally, I haven't really changed much. Just focusing in on the positives. This could be my last fight, so it does affect the way that I approach this fight. But I find that I'm just enjoying this a lot, this preparation a lot, because it may be my last fight. It's my last fight at home in Perth in my beloved Challenge Stadium. I'm well aware that I'm going to have to soak up the feeling and the love in that air because there's so much there, and just enjoy it. But at the same time, I've got to mentally switch on and do my job as a professional fighter and be victorious. This fight's not for a world title, no. It. Uh, it's a 10 round fight, but it's a world title in my eyes. My preparation for, 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 for fights as I've got older has changed in the fact is I've worked extremely hard for 21 years in the sport of boxing and harder than most fighters will ever work in their entire career. And as I got older, we've just structured our training towards more, less is more. So training hard, but at the right time has been the key and also plenty of recovery, plenty of recuperation and making sure that any injuries we stay right on top of, especially at my age. I'm 39 years old and I'm still going to training camp. I don't need to. I don't need to go to training camp. I can live a nice life back home and I can have my training, fly all my training partners in and fly everything in and have everything done at home where I'm comfortable and relaxed. But I don't do that. I still make the necessary sacrifices in order to be successful, hopefully on the night, by taking my way, taking myself out of my comfort zone, putting myself into a training camp where I just live, breathe, eat, sleep, boxing 24-7. At the gym, we do a lot of strength work, uh, a lot of beach sessions. I love the beach, I love surfing. So back home, you know, I was preparing for about three or four weeks before I even came into training camp with my brother and a few of the boys, Demon and a few of my mates, we were just, you know, at the beach doing some sessions and, and just basically keeping fresh by working hard but taking myself out of the gym and keeping an working in an environment that's conducive to having fun and staying relaxed mentally. You've got to stay mentally, you know, switched on mentally sharp and relaxed. Our preparation definitely changes and our strategy changes for each and, e each and every individual that we take on. So yeah, I'm, I'm well aware of what Santiago possesses. He's pretty wild, but at the same time, he's pretty switched on. He's, uh, he's an experienced fighter on the big stage. So he's not really overawed when he walks into the cauldron at Challenge Stadium. He's got a good chin, uh, you know, he's, he's He's defensively pretty good. He, he slips and moves and bobs and weaves. He's a pretty awkward, pretty cagey guy. And he comes forward. He likes to press the action. So do I. So uh, that's, where the, that's where the fun begins. Welcome back to Main Event. And we're here with Danny Green for his eagerly anticipated last fight in Perth, Western Australia. Danny, thanks for your time. And how are you feeling today? My pleasure, Ted. Thanks, uh, thanks for having me, mate. And thanks for coming here and saying good day. It's kind of... But the last time I'm here fighting in Perth, I'm, I'm nice and relaxed and the job's done. Been, you know, training for a long time for this preparation. It's, you know, an hour and a half away, I'm ready to rumble, mate. Fantastic. We've all noticed that you've dropped some weight. You look fantastic. It takes a lot of discipline. Um, can you say anything to the crowd and what it took for you to quickly get that weight down and how you feel for that? I haven't had a stubby for about 10 weeks. That's, <laughs> that's been tough. But, uh, yeah, it's just a matter of just being disciplined and eating the right food at the right time. I've eaten plenty. I've just cut down no, no junk. And just drinking water and, and uh, you know skim skim lattes, not the full cream milk, and <laughs> basically just you know watching what I eat and very being pretty pe 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 peculiar, particular with what I put in my stomach. Excellent, Danny, you're a class act. Thank you very much for tonight, and we wish you all the best. My pleasure. Thanks, Ted, and thanks all the fans out here for tuning in um, over my whole career. Uh, can't say thank you enough for the support, and hopefully I'll do you guys all proud tonight. Thanks, guys. He certainly will, Danny Green, in front of a full house, an emotional full house here at Challenge Stadium. His wife Nina in the crowd. The family is here supporting as always. We know you're supporting Danny Green right around Australia on Main Event TV and Fox Sports Venue.